elevate your hips and let your knees come a little bit lower. Just provides a little ease and comfort. And just straighten your spine. Bring, draw your head back over your shoulders. Draw your shoulders down and back away from your ears. Palms face down on your knees or face up for a gesture of receptivity. And then bring your attention to your breathing. In through the nose, and out through the nose. Just notice the quality of your breath. Are your inhales longer than your exhales? Is there a pause between your breaths? And just notice. And then begin to do a body scan. Start at the crown of your head. And just begin to take stock of how your body is feeling today. Any areas of tension or areas of lightness. And then turn your attention to your practice today. What brought you here to your mat? What is motivating you to practice? How does your practice make you feel? How are you when you leave here? How do you interact with the world around you when you leave here? Maybe a calmer and more relaxed you helps the world around you. So many emotions bubble up in a yoga class. Triumph, happiness, sometimes frustration, sometimes fear. All of this is part of the process, part of the process of living your best life, of the best expression of you. So bow your chin to your chest, and today set an intention, a goal for today's practice, that when the mind gets rocky, when fear, frustration, or fatigue sets in, you turn to yourself for strength and you remember these words, trust the process. And slowly open your eyes, coming back into the room. And now let's take that breath that we brought attention to and connect movements to it. So take your arms out to the side. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. As you exhale, turn to your right. Take your left hand to your right knee and twist. Inhale, take your arms up overhead. Exhale, twist over to the left. Take your right hand to your left knee, twist. Two more, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. And bring your arms back to center and this time, Fold over your legs. You can remove the block from underneath you if you like. And walk your hands forward. Keep your arms outstretched. Maybe your forehead can come down to the floor. And then walk your hands over toward the right edge of your mat. Feeling the stretch along the left side of your body, arcing over to the left. And come all over back to center and walk your hands toward the left side. Again, now feeling the stretch more along the right side of your body, grounding through the right hip. Come back to center. And then this time, pulling yourself forward onto all fours, hands and knees coming into tabletop position. Bringing your hands directly underneath your shoulders, 
knees directly underneath your hips. Setting yourself up. Toes can stay tucked under or untucked. And if you feel any knee sensitivity, please take a blanket under your knees. Inhale, arch the back, look up toward the ceiling. Exhale, round your back, look toward your navel. Inhale, arch the back, look up, connecting movement to breath. Exhale, round your back, look toward your navel. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, round your back, look toward your navel. Inhale to neutral spine, tabletop position. Pause here. And on your next inhale, sweep your right arm up toward the ceiling, twist, open your chest toward the side wall. And as you exhale, slide your right arm underneath your left, coming to rest on your outer right shoulder, right temple. Coming up onto your left fingertips like you have a tennis ball underneath your left hand. Pausing here, pressing into the back of the right hand. And then if you're comfortable, extending your left arm up toward the ceiling. If you feel any tweaking in your shoulder or anything that feels crunchy, come back to bringing your hand to the floor. If you're still comfortable, flip the palm, bend the left elbow, find the right hip crease with your fingertips, roll the left shoulder open a little bit more. Nice, release the bind if you have it. Take your left hand down to the floor, straighten your left arm, straighten your right arm, come back to tabletop position. Inhale, sweep your left arm up toward the ceiling. Open the chest up toward the wall. As you exhale, slide the left arm underneath the right arm, resting on the outer left shoulder this time, left temple. Coming up onto right fingertips here as if you had a tennis ball underneath the palm of your right hand. And then maybe extending your right arm up toward the ceiling. And again, if you feel comfortable, flipping the palm, bending the elbow, and maybe taking your right fingertips to the left hip crease. Pressing into the back of the left hand, opening up the right shoulder even more. Release the bind. Take your right fingertips down to the mat. Straighten your arm. Come back into tabletop position. Walk your knees two inches back. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips, downward facing dog. First down dog of a Saturday morning here. Begin to pedal out the feet. Bending one knee, lowering the opposite heel down to the floor. Taking a calf stretch as you really try to work the opposite heel down. Pressing into all 10 fingers. Pressing your chest back toward your thighs so your tailbone lifts higher. Mm -hmm. Inhale, pull forward into plank position. If you had to walk your hands forward, just remember your down dog is probably a little too short for you. Inhale here. Exhale, lift the hips, come back into this down dog. Roll your inner arms forward, fingertips point straight ahead. Middle fingers parallel, gaze is back at the feet, head is relaxed. Inhale, lift the right leg straight up toward the ceiling, three point dog. Bend your right knee, point the right knee straight up toward the ceiling, right foot bends over toward the left side of the mat in the air, hover. Inhale, straighten the right leg, right foot comes down to the floor. Inhale, left leg straight up and back. Bend the left knee, open up the left hip toward the window side of the room, left knee even higher. Straighten the left leg. Left foot down to the floor. Gently lower onto your knees here. Untuck the toes. Hips connect to your heels. Child's pose. Arms are still extended. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Inhale. Draw your body forward onto the mat. Rest your rib cage down between your thumbs. Pin your elbows back toward your sides. Elbows pointing straight back toward the back of the room. Press into your hands. Lift your chest and sternum an inch or two off the floor. Baby cobra here. A little back bend to start class off. Then press into your hands. Bring your hips back to your heels. Child's pose. One breath. And as you exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, come back into downward facing dog. 
Take one step in from your downward facing dog. So shorten it one step. Take your right hand back and grab the outside of your right, uh, left ankle or left calf. Good, twist. Now once you have hold of something, pull. And pull yourself underneath your left arm. Yeah, twist it open, beautiful. And release, come back to down dog. Take the left hand back now and find the outer right ankle, right calf, pull under, twist. Coming back into downward facing dog. Walk your feet back from whence they came. Inhale, pull forward into plank position, top of a push up, belly's pulled in nice and tight, arms are extended. From here, bend the elbows straight back, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes, pull the body forward, up dog, only tops of the feet and hands on the floor. Exhale, roll back over the toes, downward facing dog. Bend both knees here, lower both heels to the right side of the mat. Skiing dog, twist. Come back to center, keep the knees bent. Lower both heels to the left side of the mat. Come back to center. Inhale, pull forward into plank. Exhale, halfway lower, chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes, body comes forward and up, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back over the toes, downward facing dog. Look up at your hands. Walk your feet from the back of the mat to the front by lifting each leg up an inch at a time so tailbone gets higher and higher. Pick your hands up when you have to and then walk all the way to the top of the mat. Separate your feet, inner hip width distance apart. Hang over your legs. Grab opposite elbows, ragdoll or take any other forward fold that you like, but bend the knees quite a bit. Try to get your belly down on your thighs and then relax all the muscles in your neck so the crown of your head just releases to the floor. Now from here, if you wanna straighten your legs a little bit, go for it, but keep a slight bend in your knees and then gently sway from side to side, releasing the muscles in your lower back here. And then nodding your head, yes. And shaking your head, no. Now taking both hands to the back of your neck and give yourself a little massage yeah, right into the back of the neck, the base of the skull. Bend your knees more, maybe let your head hang more. Oh, feels nice. Your head weighs about 10 pounds. I say 15. And then you should take that total off your complete body weight. So all of you just lost 10 pounds in this class, congratulations. And your neck muscles, they work all constantly, so relax them when you can. Relax your hands down to the floor. Tuck your tailbone under, slowly roll up bone by bone by bone. Head is the last thing to come up. Nice, bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Come more to the top of your mat if you didn't quite make it. Bring your feet inner hip width distance apart. Inhale, reach your arms up and back, arch back. As you exhale, prayer comes straight through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips to the floor, right leg goes straight back, low lunge. Inhale, sweep your left arm up toward the ceiling, twist, open it up. Bring your left hand down, back into down dog you go. Inhale here, exhale, lower your knees down to the floor, child's pose, untuck the toes, arms are extended. Inhale, pull the body forward, slink forward, middle rib cage between your thumbs, tops of the feet rest down, elbows point straight back for baby cobra. Exhale, back into child's pose, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Left leg goes straight up and back here. As you exhale, pull your left knee into your chest, round your upper back, step your left foot down between your hands. Right knee gently lowers down to the floor, untuck the back toes. Reach your arms forward, up and back, arch back, crescent pose. 
And both hands touch down, tuck the back toes under, step it up, forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up, palms connect, arch back like you're tracing a line on the ceiling. Exhale, prayer comes straight through, heart center, forward fold, other side. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, left leg goes straight back, this time low lunge. Inhale, sweep your right arm up toward the ceiling, twist. Exhale, right hand comes down to the floor. Inhale, back into downward facing dog. Exhale here. Inhale, pull forward into plank. Exhale, bend the elbows straight back, lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, roll over the toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back over the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg straight up and back. Exhale, right knee pulls into your chest, round your upper back, step your right foot down between your hands, grab and drag it if you have to. Left knee gently lowers down to the floor, untuck the back toes, reach your arms forward, up and back, sink the hips, crescent pose. Exhale, both hands down to the floor, tuck the back toes under, step it up, forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up. Watch the palms connect. Exhale, hands to prayer at heart center. Twist toward the right side of the room. Take your right arm back. Take your left arm forward. See if you can twist from the waist only. And then air guitar your right arm down and up. Both arms come up. And as you exhale, left arm comes forward, down, and back as you twist to the other side. Nice. Take your left arm down and up, both arms up. Right arm forward, down and back. Reach it back, left arm comes forward. Good, right arm down and up, both arms up. Left arm forward, down and back, right arm forward. Left arm down and up, both arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees, plant your hands. Let's pick up the pace. Transfer your weight into your hands. Slide your feet straight back, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Nice, smooth transition. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Powering up the core here. Inhale, right leg straight up and back. As you exhale, pull your right knee into your chest, round your upper back. Inhale, right leg straight up and back. Exhale, right knee taps the back of the right arm, touch it. Inhale, right leg straight up and back. Exhale, right knee comes to the back of the left arm. Inhale, straight up and back. Exhale, right foot comes down. Lower down onto your knees, child's pose. Inhale, drag the body forward, baby cobra. Widen your feet a bit. Straighten your arms, full cobra, keep the hips heavy. From here, one smooth move, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. That was smooth, Jackie. Left leg straight up and back. Left knee pulls into your chest, round. Inhale, straight up and back. Exhale, left knee taps the back of the left arm. Inhale, straight up and back. Exhale, left knee taps the back of the right arm. Inhale, straight up and back. Left foot comes down to the floor. Bend both knees. Skiing dog. Heels to the right, knees to the left. Twist. Come back to center. Both heels to the left, knees to the right. Back to center. Take one step in. Take your right hand. Find the outside of your left ankle. Twisted dog. Once you have seen a fairy dog, come down to your knees. Take a look. Right leg comes straight up toward the ceiling. Right knee pulls into your chest. Keep your right toes pointed. Shoot your right leg straight up to the sky and lift the left foot an inch or two off the ground. Leap. Good, that was a nice. Three of them. Come all the way back. Take a child's pose after numero tres. So the goal is not to come into handstand. We're gonna get there shortly enough as it is. 
The goal is to find balance. <laughs> They're addictive, I know. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. So ideally, try to work on not moving your hands if moving your hands is your thing. Try to get that full extension out of that left leg. Look up at your hands, find some balance, move with your breath. Left leg in the air this time. Left knee pulls into your chest. Extend your left leg straight up. Take a little hop. There you go. There you go. Look up at your hands. The feet are not doing anything fun. There you go. Much better this time. Beautiful. Child's pose after numero tres. <laughs> nice. Draw the body forward onto the mat. Straighten your arms, full cobra. I love you guys. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at your hands. Bend your knees, keep the tailbone high. Float your feet up all the way to your hands. Inhale, look up, flat back. Good. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up overhead. Watch the palms touch. Exhale, sit down into chair pose. Arms reach up on an angle or straight ahead. Inhale, straighten your legs, connect the palms. As you exhale, sit down into chair pose, but twist to the right, taking your left elbow to the outer right thigh. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, twist toward the left, taking your right elbow to the outer left thigh. Inhale up, two more. Exhale, bend and twist. Inhale up, keep the knees connected if you can. Exhale, bend and twist. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Little license here, walk back, crow back, handstand back. Meet me in Chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Nice. Right leg straight up and back. Right knee pulls into your chest. Now draw your shoulders over your hands, pull the foot forward, step the foot down between your hands. Left heel lowers down to the floor. Reach your arms forward and then up, warrior one. Biceps by the ears. Shoulders draw away from the ears. Right knee is directly over your right ankle. Then square your shoulders and hips off toward the front of the room by drawing the right hip back, left hip forward. Beautiful, everyone. Inhale, arch back, reach back. Exhale, touch your hands to the floor. Inhale, back into plank pose. Bend the elbows straight back, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg straight up and back. Left knee pulls into your chest. Round your upper back. Draw your shoulders over your hands. Press the floor away. And then step your left foot down right between your hands. Good. Right heel lowers down to the floor. Reach your arms forward and up. Warrior one. Biceps by the ears. Left knee directly over left ankle. And then draw your shoulders down away from your ears. From here, square shoulders and hips off toward the front of the room. Inhale, arch back, reach back. Exhale, touch the hands down to the floor. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend the elbows straight back, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Cartwheels. Walk both feet to the right edge of the mat. Left leg straight up in the air. If you've never done one before, feel free to just take a gander up. <laughs> Look at your hands, kick your left foot into the air, scissor your legs, land on the left side of the mat with the right leg in the air. Good, let's all try it on the same count now. So, it's all good. Left leg straight up, one, two, three, kick to the other side. Nice, land with the right leg, left leg in the air. One, two, three, other side. 
Beautiful cartwheels. Have you guys done this before? Look at your hands. Lean forward, find handstand now. Kick up, maybe hold it for a second in the middle. Land on the other side, go. Beautiful. One, two, three, go. And walk your feet back to center. Take a child's pose here. Wonderful job. Arms are extended. Nice cartwheel. Draw your body forward onto the mat. Land your chest down between your thumbs. Elbows point straight back. From here, widen your feet a bit. Extend your arms to straight. Roll your shoulders back and down. Try to keep your hips down on the floor. So widening your feet can help with that. And then draw the chest through more. Beautiful. Back of the neck is long. Inhale here. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Look up at your hands. Your aim will be to jump your feet to the pinky side of both hands and land in yogi squat, malasana. Inhale, look up, bend your knees, exhale, jump, land your feet on the outsides of your hands. Good, lower your hips down, hands to prayer, heart center. Heels ideally down on the floor, widen your feet if this is uncomfortable. Maybe to point your toes out to the side if this is uncomfortable. If you're comfortable, try to straighten your toes. Hands come down to the floor from here, right underneath your shoulders. On the count of three, shoot your legs up, land back in chaturanga. One, two, three, go. Beautiful, chaturanga, inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look up at your hands. Now try to find the shape of malasana in the air. So when you jump up, knees bend, feet turn out to the side, land your, your feet on the outsides of your hands, go. That's it, very good. Land, hands to prayer at heart center. Now, when you lift your tailbone, your feet flare out, knees are bent, then shoot your legs back, then chaturanga. Let's go for it. One, two, three, go. Beautiful. Chaturanga, inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, down dog. Okay, we're gonna end this soon. Inhale, look up at your hands. This time, float your feet to your hands. One, two, three, go. Forward fold, inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Watch the palms touch. Exhale, sit down into chair pose. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Twist over to the right side of the room. Hook your left elbow on the outside of your right thigh. Try to work your hands toward heart center. Try to draw your left knee back because it's probably escaping forward. And then roll your right shoulder back. Nice. Straighten your legs, reach your arms up overhead, palms still connected. As you exhale, bend your knees, chair pose, twist to the left, right elbow hooks onto the outside of your left thigh. Again, work your hands toward heart center, left shoulder rolls back, draw the right knee back, belly pulls in to make this happen. Your shoulders are working to open up. Inhale, straighten your legs, both arms up overhead. As you exhale, sit down into chair pose, reach your arms forward, separate your hands. Try to bring your feet together for this one. Reaching your arms straight ahead, get a little lower. Good, now press your knees into one another, pull your lower abs in, get a little lower. Like you need a hug, get a little lower. I'm sorry if it was leg day. Okay. Bend all the way down, pick up your heels, boat pose. Everybody okay? Lie down. <laughs> lie down. Oh, but it's not that kind of lie down. <laughs> All right. Bend your knees in. Extend your arms straight up toward the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Knees together for this one, babes. All right. Touch your toes down to the floor. As you bring them back up, try to touch both knees to the outside of your uh, right arm. Toes down, try to touch both knees to the outside of your left arm. Toes touch down, over to the right, lower it. Touch down, left, touch down, right, touch down, left. Good. 
Right, relax for a second. Oh, bend both knees in. Reach underneath your thighs. Begin to rock back and forth, up and down the spine. Nice. Come to rest on the tailbone with your feet hovering in the air. Is that not a resting pose? Mm -hmm. Lift your heels in line with your knees. Take your arms straight up toward the sky. Bend your elbows. Flex your hands. Keep your knees tight. Oh, that's hard. I know, I know, okay? Take both knees over toward the right. Try to touch your knees to the outside of your elbow. Come back to center. Twist to the other side. Back to center. Twist to the other side. Back to center. Twist to the other side. Two more. Back to center. Twist to the other side. Back to center. Twist to the other side. Take your hands behind you. Cross your ankles and sit down. Oh. Okay? That's a hard one. They're going to do that exactly the same thing today, balancing on our hands. So it's going to be even harder later. But we'll get to that point. All right. So first fun thing today that we're going to work on is rolling like a ball. Rolling like a ball. And since I have a fancy microphone on me, and I'm pretty sure I will smash it to pieces if I roll like a ball, I'm going to get Gabriella up here to help uh, work, work on this. So, rolling like a ball from a tripod headstand. First thing is we have to work on the tripod headstand. So that's what we're going to be demonstrating first. Gab, would you like a mat? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry. All right. So remember, tripod, making a triangle between the head and the hands. So this is where my head is in relation to my hands when I'm upside down. So she brings her hands directly underneath her shoulders, walks her knees in. Crown of the head comes down on a point in front of her hand so that when she looks back, if she wiggles her pinky fingers, she can see them in her periphery. That's how you know your hands are back far enough. Elbows point straight back, tuck the toes, lift the hips, walk in, bring one knee to one elbow, press down, bring the other knee to the other elbow. Now. From here, everybody's always worried about falling, but you're already on the floor, like a lot of you is on the floor, and the most important parts of you, like the head, are already down and safe. But let's say you do fall. What do you do? Tuck your chin to your chest, lean forward, and into a little ball you go. And she, look, she even had her hands up for a high five. It was, it was that easy for her. Come all the way up. So. Some of us are a little worried about doing that on our own. So, Gab, come on back over. As a spotter, what I'm going to try to do is just help her find her chin to her chest. So chin to chest, guys. Eventually, we want to be able to just roll onto this shoulder part, okay? Now, there's chin to chest, ball, and then there's toddler. You ever see a toddler, you try to pick them up and they go like this, no, okay? So some of you do that when we're, we're going over. So instead of bringing your knees into your chest, you're like, no, and then it's more like belly flop than ball. Than ball. So with a partner, head will come down, lift the hips, lift the knees, walk the feet in, and then I'm just going to, as she brings her chin to her chest, her knees are already in, and I'm going to just help her find the floor until she's comfortable, nice and slow. But pretty soon, you're going to be wanting to like, bang, bang, go for it. Mm -hmm. And then when you bring your legs up, if you find that you're losing balance, knees into ball, you roll. And everybody lives to fight another day, okay? Let's try. In other words, you break your neck. Yeah. No, no, no. It's way harder to break your neck than people think. Okay. <laughs> All those Van Damme movies really messed up people. You know, like, no, not happening. Close, everyone. A little after headstand care for your neck. Bring your hands back to your neck and give yourself that massage. Try to aim your fingers toward one another and then pull them apart across the back of your neck. So, yeah. Just get in there. Granted, it never feels as good as when you're getting an actual massage from someone else. But you can, you can imagine. Excellent. Extend your arms. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. 
Right leg straight up and back. Right knee pulls into your chest. Right foot steps down between your hands. From here, lower the back heel down. Rise up, warrior one again. Refining our warrior one, making sure the back foot is turned in on a slight angle and that hips and shoulders are squared toward the front of the room. Inhale, interlace all 10 fingers behind your lower back. Roll your shoulders back. And then as you exhale, bow forward to the inside of your right thigh. Right shoulder grazes right past the inner right thigh. Arms raise up and overhead. One day your pinkies find the floor in front of you. I'm giving you goals, everyone. Inhale, rise back up. Reach your arms straight up for the ceiling. Release the bind. Now pick your back heel up. High lunge. So you're balancing squarely on the ball of the back foot. Back heels pointing straight up toward the ceiling. Nice. From here, twist toward the right side of the room. Take your right arm straight back, left arm forward. Find your balance. Try to twist from the waist. Inhale, reach both arms up, come back to face the front of the room. Take your right arm behind you, find your left hip. And arc back, reach your left arm back and look down over your right shoulder for drama and flair. Release your right hand straight up toward the ceiling, both arms up. As you exhale, gently lower the back knee to the floor. Reach both hands to the floor. Low lunge. Both hands come to prayer at heart center. Twist toward the right. Hook the left elbow on the outer right thigh. Now really work the twist here. Your back knee is down, so maybe you have to moose your right thigh under your left arm more and then press your hands to heart center. Roll your right shoulder back. Nice. Both hands come down to the floor. Take both hands to the inside of your front foot. Heel toe your right foot toward the right edge of your mat, coming into lizard pose. Maybe from here you can lower onto your forearms or take your forearms onto blocks. If you've lost track of your blocks, it might be a good time to bring them toward the front of your mat. Thank you. You're welcome. From here, straighten your arms. Bend your left knee, sweep your right hand back and see if you can find the top of the left foot with your right hand taking a thigh stretch pulling the left foot straight toward your left hip rolling your right shoulder back nice if you've got a little extra oomph here maybe lower on to your left forearm arch back look back puff out the chest From here, release the back foot, straighten your arms, heel toe your right foot back to center where it was in the low lunge position, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, pause for a moment. Reach your arms forward and up, coming into high lunge. Bring your hands to prayer and heart center, twist to the right, hook your left elbow to the outer right thigh. For round two, from here, enjoy this everyone, fan out your arms, left fingertips find the floor, right arm up, if that's not happening, stay with your hands at prayer, maybe take the bind, reaching your left arm underneath, right arm behind you, finding your fingertips, and release both hands to the floor. <laughs> Step it back, downward facing dog. Oh, shake out that leg. Oh, building strength here. Inhale, pull forward into plank. 
Exhale, bend the elbows straight back, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll it back, downward facing dog. Lower down onto your knees for a moment, take a child's pose. And let's meditate on the fact we get to do all of that on the left side, coming up. Okay? It's going to feel amazing. The muscle you're probably feeling the most is in the outside of your right hip. That's your gluteus medius. And in most of us, it's weak. So yoga is one of the surefire ways to train that muscle, make it more stable, pelvis more stable, lower back pain goes away, life is happier. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. I'm assuming, I'm just, I'm spitballing here. Downward facing dog. Left leg straight up and back. Left knee pulls into your chest. Round your upper back, left foot steps down between your hands. Low lunge. Right heel spins down to the floor. Rise up, warrior one. Set yourself up in your warrior one, squaring shoulders and hips off toward the front of the room. Left knee directly over left ankle. Nice, interlace all 10 fingers behind your back the funky way here, opposite thumb crosses on top. Roll your shoulders back, inhale. As you exhale, bow forward to the inside of your left thigh, crown of the head releases down to the floor. Arms come up and overhead. Maybe one day those pinkies will find the floor in front of you. Maybe one of these days the crown of the head will find the floor. Inhale, rise up, release your arms toward the ceiling, arms by your ears, pick up the back heel. High lunge. Now, trying to keep your arms up this time, gently lower the right knee down to the floor. Ooh, hands to prayer at heart center. Twist toward the left, hook the right elbow to the outer left thigh. Now, work. You guys gotta try to get that elbow deep onto the left thigh, even if you have to press it in and push it there. Trying to get that leg higher and higher until one day it's all the way up into your armpit. And that's when you'll know. You've got a good twist going on. Hands try to press toward heart center. Left shoulder rolls back. Beautiful. And release both hands down to the floor. Heel toe your left foot toward the left edge of the mat. Coming into lizard pose here. Maybe slide your right knee back a little bit to get your hips closer to the floor. Maybe lower onto your forearms or take your forearms onto blocks. And again, always just noticing the subtle shifts and differences in your bodies between one side and the other, one hip to the other, one lizard pose to the other. And from here, Straighten your arms, bend your right knee, reach your left hand back, see if you can grab a hold of the top of the right foot with your left hand. Then pull that foot toward your right hip, rolling the left shoulder back, maybe finding the right forearm on the floor, but if you're down on your forearm, you're working extra hard to roll that left shoulder back. Uh -huh. This way, you need to come up on a block. Right there. Arch it back, puff out the chest. Yeah, you are. And release that foot. Straighten your arms. Heel toe your back foot back to center. Everyone's favorite move. Tuck the toes, lift the back knee, low lunge. Reach your arms forward and then up high lunge. From here, take your left arm back, right arm forward, twisted high lunge. That way, open your chest up toward the windows. Inhale, back up, both arms up. This time, just sweep your left arm behind you. Find your outer right hip. And arc back, reaching your right fingertips toward the back of the room, then look down over your left shoulder. Release both arms up. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center. Believe me, I feel it with you, everyone. Twist toward the left. Hook your right elbow to the outer right, outer left thigh. Your right elbow to the outer left thigh. And then from here, as you snuggle that thigh up, 
Open up your arms. Get deeper into the twist. Appreciate this left side because this might be your more bendy side. And release both hands down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. Lower gently onto your knees, child's pose. Take a breath or two here. And tuck your toes, lift your hips, down dog. Fairy dogs, right leg straight up and back. Right knee pulls into your chest, look up at your hands. Now, find your fingers, now that you're all warmed up, shoot your right leg straight up and back, lift the left foot a couple of inches off the floor. Aim for straight legs here. A lot of you are super strong, that's not the point. Legs straight, that is the point. After three, take a child's pose. Oh look, now you guys have energy. <laughs> That is an excellent question. Okay, so if everybody wants to take a look up here. In your fairy dogs, when I say legs straight, in any handstand, ideally both legs are activated and straightened as much as possible. We lose this ability when we go upside down because we lose where our body is in space. So in the fairy dog, when I say both legs straight, all right, one leg will come up, it's my left leg, knee pulls in, I look up at my fingers and then both legs are straight. Just finding that point where I will find some lift and maybe find a second of hang time or two or three or four in L handstand. Tuck your toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Excellent question. Okay. Again, looking up at the hands helps. If you think that you're confident in your handstand, shortening your stance a little might help. Left leg pulls up and in, left knee, Good, now shoot it up, straighten both legs. Nice, Nadia. Find your straight arm strength, find your straight legs. That's it, very nice. Good, child's pose. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. It's not even a thing today. We're not even at the thing. Tuck your toes, lift your hips down, dog. Keep the energy going, everyone. Keep it flowing. Right leg straight up and back. Right knee pulls into your chest. Step your right foot down between your hands. Left heel spins down to the floor. Cartwheel the arms up, warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Chest opens up toward the windows. Beautiful. Right knee is tracking over your second toe. So when you look down, you should be able to see your big toe. And then both arms are level, both shoulders roll down and away from the ears, tailbone lengthens toward the floor. Reach forward, flip your right palm up toward the ceiling, and then arc back, left hand comes down the back leg, legs stay exactly the same. If not, there's a deeper bend in that front knee to get more of a stretch. Reverse warrior, from your reverse warrior, straighten your right leg, coming into reverse triangle pose. From reverse triangle, reach forward and up. Right hand finds the right shin, top of the right foot or the floor. Left arm straight up toward the ceiling, one long line between your left fingertips and right fingertips, both palms face straight ahead. And then lean back, roll your left rib cage back, right rib cage forward. Left hand comes down to the floor. Step your left foot in about one ruler's distance, about 12 inches. Back heel lowers down to the floor, both sets of toes start pointing forward. Take your left hand onto a block if your left fingertips are barely, barely making it. Right hand comes to your right hip. Roll your right shoulder over your left shoulder, opening your chest toward the side wall. Right arm is the last thing to come up toward the ceiling, twisted triangle pose. That's it, got it? Does this hurt your shoulder? Then you're good. You might wanna take a block though, so you can open up the twist more. Twist is the most important part. 
Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, if your hand isn't on a block, you may have regretted that decision. As we slide this left hand forward, uh huh. Hop up onto the left hand, right foot for revolved half moon pose. Right leg lifts straight, left leg lifts straight up. Left toes point toward the floor, but your chest and is opening toward the right wall. Nice, step it back into revolved triangle pose. Both hands come down to the floor for low lunge. Back heel spins down to the floor, cartwheel the arms up, warrior two. Bend the left knee, right leg straightens, come up onto the right heel, right fingertips to the floor for bowling warrior, look straight ahead like you're bowling a strike. Left arm is lifted, right arm is down. Come back up into warrior two. Straighten your right leg, both palms connect over the head for flying warrior. Pivot your right toes to be parallel with your left. Both sets of toes pointing toward the windows. As you exhale, bring your arms out to the side. Forward fold over your legs. As you come down, reach for ankles, calves, outer edges of your feet, whatever you can get your hands on. Then bend your elbows out to the side. Crown of the head releases toward the floor for Prasarita Padatanasana. A little fun here. Release your ankles or feet. Bring your hands to the floor. Jump your feet underneath your shoulders and come into yogi squat. Elbows press against the inner thighs. Right arm extends out to the side. Left arm up toward the ceiling. Twist. Come back to center. Left arm extends out to the side. Right arm up toward the ceiling. Twist. Come back to center, hands to prayer, and then hands to the floor. Come up onto tippy toes, shoot your legs out, and come back into your wide-legged forward fold. Nice, good. Inhale, extend your arms out to the side, lift the chin, come all the way up. Right toes point toward the front of the room, warrior two. And as you exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, coming into plank pose. Bend the elbows straight back, chaturanga. Inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Left leg straight up and back. Left knee pulls into your chest. Left foot steps down between your hands. Nice. Right heel spins down to the floor, cartwheel the arms up, warrior two. Again, opening your chest up to the windowless side of the room here. Hips open up, but don't let your knee drag in. Keep your knee tracking over your second left toe. Arms are parallel to the floor at even length. Gaze over your front middle finger. Tailbone lengthens down. Reach forward toward the front of the room. Flip the left hand and the right hand travel down the back thigh. As you arc back, reverse warrior. Keep the front knee bending a little deeper. And then straighten it, reverse triangle pose. And reach your left arm forward and up, coming into triangle. Left hand finds the left shin, top of the left foot or a block. Right arm straight up toward the ceiling, palm faces forward. Right rib cage draws back, left draws forward as you twist from the waist. Right hand comes down to the floor. Good. Hop your back foot in about 12 inches, one ruler's distance, and then pivot your back toes forward toward the front of the room. Back heel down. Right hand stays on the inside of the right foot. Block highly recommended. <laughs> then bring your left hand to your left hip. Roll your left shoulder to stack on top of your right, and then left arm reaches straight up for the ceiling. Palm facing forward for revolved triangle pose. Again, trying to keep that left leg straight, but making the twist happen from the rib cage. Nice, Marcelo. Step it back, left hand comes down, low lunge. Spin the right heel down to the floor, cartwheel the arms up, warrior two. 
From here, bending the right knee, left hand comes down, right arm comes up, left toes lift, looking straight ahead for Bowling Warrior. Coming back up into Warrior Two. Straightening the front leg, both hands come to touch overhead, Flying Warrior. Pivot your left toes to be parallel to your right, so turn your left toes forward. And then as you exhale, extend your arms out to the side, flat back all the way down, Prasarita Part 2. Maybe walking your feet to the back edge of your mat. Taking your hands to the floor. Maybe the crown of the head rests in front of your hands, so you might have to lean forward and then slide your hands back. Uh-huh. And then rolling onto the tippy toes of your feet, weight transfers onto the crown of your head, maybe finding tripod headstand, or maybe taking your knees to the backs of your arms right from there. Marcelo, try to get your head on your mat, babe. Nice. A stylish save is an excellent save. And come all the way back and down. Good job, everyone. Extend your arms to straight. Take your arms out to the sides. Flat back all the way up. Look up. Left toes point forward toward the front of the room. And then cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Step back, plank. Chaturanga, inhale, pull forward, up dog. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to the back of your mat. One, two, three, go. Hang over your legs, relax. Bend your knees. Slide your right hand underneath your right foot all the way up so that your toes touch your wrist crease. And then do the same with the left hand. And then from there, begin to lean your weight into your wrists and then straighten your legs as much as you can from there. Relax the head. <laughs> it's amazing how much tension we hold for no reason, right? Straighten your legs and then again, just nod the head. Yes, shake the head. No, find your breath here. Still your mind because we're about to get to the thing. Take your hands out from underneath your feet. Relax your hands down to the floor. Take a slight bend in your knees. Tuck the tailbone under, slowly round up to standing, bone by bone by bone. Head is the last thing to come up. Excelente. Bring your feet together, hands together in prayer. And I'm going to pretend I told you to already go get your blocks, so go get your blocks and bring them back there with you. Nice. Bring your hands to prayer. Come up onto the balls of both feet and begin to bend your knees, keeping the heels up. As you get lower, heels kick higher. And then slowly come into a double toe stand. Beautiful. Your blocks are there for support if you need them. But if you don't need them, grab them anyway. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right. On the count of three, clap the blocks overhead. One, two. I said three. <laughs> Come all the way down. Good. One, two, three. Good. All right. Now bring your hands, uh, the blocks, to prayer at heart center. Oh. Twist to the right. Uh-huh. Hook the elbow. Press the blocks together though. Oh, how does that feel? Roll your back shoulder back more. Try to get your blocks to the center of your chest. Come back to center. Twist to the other way. Grab, hook the elbow, twist, twist. And hands come down to the floor. Come on to your knees, untuck your toes. Oh yeah. Yeah, so much fun. So much fun there. Okay, nothing. So, the first part of the thing, we'll use the blanket. And that thing is side crow. 
Now, when anybody comes into side crow or any crow, I find that a blanket is helpful because it acts like a crash pad. So you don't worry about coming over onto your face. From double toe stand, we'll take that twist that you guys love so much. Okay? Hands come to the floor. Ideally, you want to twist so much that both knees can rest on one arm. But at first, that might not happen for you. So you might have to use both arms and rest the back hip on your back elbow. So you see the difference? One arm will take all my weight versus two arms taking my weight. Then from here, we're going to work on leaning. Leaning, leaning, leaning. Now, at some point, your feet have to lift. I like to lift my lower one first. And then I just want you to take Take a little breaky poo on your on your crash pad and see how that goes. All right. If but well wait, there's more. There's always always more. Gab. <laughs> there's always more. So if you've already done this and you're not working on finding your balance and just putting your head down. From here, you can begin to take your side crow, whichever side you like, Ab. Okay. Lean forward, lift both feet, look sideways, and just hold that shape. Or maybe extend your legs out, one leg back, other leg forward, and then come on down, Gab, and maybe do that toward the camera. Oh. <laughs> That's on my good side. On the good side, on the good side. Okay, so lean forward, lift both feet up, maybe extend your legs out, beautiful, and come back, nice. Now from here, I know, so pretty, so pretty, two more options, two more options. If you like the rest, you can come into Fallen Angel from there, so Gab. So that's just, imagine the crash pad is here, and she's coming, and she just leans forward and gently rests her head down, and then presses into her elbow and lifts both one leg up, one foot up. Come all the way down. Last option, last option. Tripod into side crow. Okay. <laughs> Wanna take a break? No. Okay. So, tripod that we just did in the beginning of class you know we kept your knees down yeah so now we're going to bring all of that together so tripod headstand you want to you want a mat no. okay tough way tougher than me she comes into tripod now from there she brings her knees up and she can go all the way up or not that's up completely up to the yogi and then as she brings her knees down she finds one elbow Twist, 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 twist. Get some real estate there. And then at some point, she has to look up. Okay? And then she's in side curl. Come all the way down. Yay. Good job, Gab. Gab, this is our third class. Okay. So, all right, everybody work on something. You're either just finding the floor with your face. Try that one. <laughs> on your crash pad, you know, and the, the crash pad is wonderful. You'll find, everyone should try it, you'll find all kinds of balance using the crash pad. And then from there, play. Take an option. Have fun. It's a down okay. dog. It's time to end it up, babes. You've been, you've been great. You've been great. Take your right leg straight up and back. Take your right knee forward behind your right wrist. Slide your left leg back, come into pigeon pose. Yep. Right foot slides to the left side of the mat. Good. If you feel any discomfort in your right knee, take a block underneath your right hip. Or, as long as you're feeling a stretch in this outer hip, roll onto the right hip. That's fine. And then walk your hands forward. Crown of the head finds the floor. Done a really good job today. It's not easy to fly on your hands. So many things come up in 
balancing poses. Maybe you had some of these thoughts. Why is this so hard? You know, what am I doing wrong? I'm never going to get this. Of course you are. Practice, 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 and all is coming. And walk your hands back toward your right shin. Bend your left knee, bringing your left foot in towards you. Take your left hand and grab the big toe side of your left foot. Nice. And take your right hand on a block if you need to and pull that left foot in as much as you can. Maybe, let's see, maybe taking your foot all the way into your rib cage. Can you straighten this arm up? Bring it back more. There you go. Good. That's it. That's it. If you have an advanced option, like a mermaid bind or an overhead bind, don't let me hold you back. Or a, hey, let's just watch bind. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, that's not today. <laughs> Release the foot. Tuck the back, there you go. Beautiful. Tuck the back toes under. Hands down, lift the hips down dog, other side. Left leg straight up and back. Left knee slides up behind your left wrist. Left foot over toward the right. Slide the right leg back. Again, finding a point where you're just feeling that stretch on the outer left side. And then walk your hands forward. Crown of the head toward the floor. Relaxing. Reconnecting with your breath in these poses, calming the mind. Notice it's in the easier, quote unquote, poses that the mind tends to wander, focus tends to drift. And straighten your arms. Walk your hands back toward your left shin. From here, bending in the right foot, reaching for the big toe side of that foot. There you go. And then taking that foot in toward your right ribs. Maybe bringing the hand over the top of the foot, elbow high, and just tucking that foot into the rib cage. And if you have it there, squaring your shoulders off toward the front of the room. And then if you have your balance, and you'd like to maybe try to take a mermaid bind or full Raja Kapatasana, if that's in your practice, go for it. It is. There it is. Just work on balance first. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. That's good. Now look up. <laughs> and release. Tuck the back toes under, hands down, step it back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet here, pedal out the hips. Three-part jump through here. Listen carefully. It sounds way more complicated than it is. Bend your knees. Jump your feet to your hands. Slide your hands back. Lean back on them and extend your legs forward. It's a fancy way to sit down. And then lie down onto the mat. Bend your knees. Soles of the feet on the floor. Taking a little bit of a counter posture to all that folding in that we did with our crow poses today. So walk your heels back toward your hips, hands down by your sides, press into your feet, press into your hands, lift your hips up. Interlace all 10 fingers underneath your lower back, roll your shoulders underneath you one at a time. Good. And then slowly release. We didn't do much to get us into wheel pose today, so feel free to skip this option. But some of us 
I don't need much to get into wheel pose. And if that's something you'd like to do, I'll cue you through it. Otherwise, do exactly the same pose we just did. Flip your hands back by your ears, fingertips toward your heels. Press into your hands, press into your feet, lift the hips, come up onto the crown of the head and pause. Slide your hands back toward your feet and then press into your hands, straightening your arms, lifting your chest through and back. Maybe come up onto your tippy toes and walk your feet in more. And chin to chest, slowly come down. Pull your knees into your chest. Little circles with your knees to the right and to the left. Beginning to wind down the practice here. Start grounding the energy. And from here, grabbing the outer edges of both feet, taking a happy baby pose. Elbows are on the insides of your knees as you reach through. And then lift your feet toward the ceiling, bend the knees straight out to the sides. Head is relaxed onto the floor. Now, happy baby can be as easy or as much of a work pose as you like. I actively try to draw my knees down to touch the floor and that's where the rocking comes from. So maybe rock from side to side as you draw your knees past your body more. Eventually, you'll be able to stop in the center and both knees will be down. I think, I'll let you know, I'm still working on it. Maybe rock to the right side, straightening the left leg, like a check mark, or a Nike swoosh. Come back to center, rock to the left, straighten the right. Come back to center, soles of the feet down on the floor. Arms or cactus onto the floor like goalpost arms, but if you don't have anybody next to you, feel free to take capital T arms and extend your arms out to the side. Press into your feet, lift your hips, bring both hips to the left side of your mat, and lower your knees to the right side of your mat, taking a final supine twist. options here to make this twist a little deeper and more delicious by taking your right hand and grabbing the top knee, the left knee, and maybe extending that left leg to straight. And if you're really flexible and you feel like grabbing a hold of that left foot with your right hand, go for it. And release that foot if you have it. Come back to center. And bump both hips to the right. Lower your knees to the left. Same options apply here. Maybe take that top hand to your top leg. Maybe extend it and reach for that foot. and come back to center. And then straighten your legs out onto the floor. Hands by your hips. Relaxing straight down and back. And before we drift off into Shavasana, taking three deep cleansing breaths. Inhale through the nose, exhale, let it out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale, let it out through the mouth. Last time, deepest inhale through the nose, exhale, let it out through the mouth. Now just relaxing down onto the mat, feeling your body press down into the floor. Let all the breath control go. Let the mind be calm and at peace. And take the next few moments here in your Shavasana to immerse yourself in tranquility.
on your next inhale, slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bringing your right arm up and overhead. And gently making your way onto your right side, bending your knees into your chest, rolling over, letting the body melt down into the mat. Taking a moment to appreciate the mental and physical space that you created for yourself with your practice today. And send yourself a little light, love and gratitude for showing up on your mat, for doing something to nurture your mind, body and spirit. And then send a little light and love out to the other yogis in the room who shared this practice with you today and made it special. And gently with as little effort as possible Press yourself up to a cross-legged seated position. Keeping your eyes closed and bringing your hands to prayer at heart center. And one last final gesture of gratitude today for this life and for this practice. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste. Thank you everyone so much. I think this went smoother than last week. <laughs>